Hi Baz from Loop Masters here and today I'm just going to show you how to make your offbeat hi-hat patterns more interesting. Um, now basically it's just very very simple. I have some programmed here as you can see already. Um, so we have a little, little listen to them. Uh, you, can, you can hear that just normal looping. Now to make these interesting if we just literally take a beat out of it, change it to three beats. And you'll see that they'll, they'll simply continue to loop. They will actually stay uh, in time, but they'll cycle different. Um, so if we pull that back, you can actually hear the original. And again, we go back there, they'll start cycling different. Now you can actually pull them across as well and uh, you know, look at, listen to the various different patterns that you could make. Um, you know, you could bounce these down eventually, uh, or you know, actually record these in. So yeah, just just a very simple and uh, you know quick technique in uh, getting your your hi hats, just uh, looping different and um, you know variations of it. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, make a copy of this. Uh, so if we just copy that clip across, and pull one of them down, and uh, oh, yep, copy and uh, make this one the top one, the original. And then the uh, and the second one with the, just just the three beats instead of the four. Let's change that to one bar, and if we start alternating them, we can hear what uh, the effect is. So you can see that they're cycling different. Um, does you know kind of give a, a new element to your track? Um, you can try this with shakers and uh, and things like that. Perhaps you know small percussion sounds. Um, yeah, just experiment. Anyway. So that wraps up this quick tip from Loopmasters.